is up guys, Raymond here, also known as Rayvision, and check it out today, well, we are going to be playing some Forza Horizon 2. Um, this is once again going to be a drift build, and as some of you have requested, this is going to be a uh, Mazda RX-7, the 1997 beauty. And um, honestly guys, um, I have gotten a lot better at these. The more I do, I feel like the more uh, the better I'm doing uh, at these drift builds. And I feel like I've learned a lot about how to make a drift build. And I feel like I'm going to end up going back to my Mustang because I love the Mustang. It's such a good drift car, in my opinion. I'm going to end up going back to that Mustang. And I think I'm going to end up changing some things in the tune, changing some, some things in the upgrade, just to make it a better drift car. So what we have done, basically, upgrade-wise, we added the V8 engine. Uh, not the racing one, because the only thing I assumed, I didn't check, but the only thing you'd be able to uh, remove are, I forgot what they're called. Uh, you guys know what I'm talking about. There's only one upgrade you can do for those engines. Very limiting. So we went for the V8, and we got twin turbos, which are beast. Then we did a couple adjustments in tire pressure, gearing, and uh, springs. And uh, honestly, this is probably one of my favorite drift tunes I have done so far in Forza Horizon 2. This car really handles the corners well, it's difficult to spin out, and what's great is most cars usually I try and uh, siphon it, uh, set it up so that it's the main three gears, the ones that you use, but this one is, uh, it's got so much power in abundance, and the way it's made, uh, this drift dune, allows me to do so much more. Uh, here you see me creating the uh, profile if you guys, or whatever, the file, if you guys want to download it, it is called Ray Drift on the Drift, best for speed, and so, um, how do I say? I've learned a bit more about tune gearing and all that, and I find this car probably one of the harder cars to spin out. Of course, like any other car, you can spin it out, but I find, like, doing donuts with this car is so easy. It's like, you're gonna see me earlier, like, you, most of the time, I have to get a feel for the car. This car in first gear just does it. What's great about its four gears is even in fourth gear, it doesn't struggle to get power. That's why usually yeah, I have to either go, uh, go for three gears, because I can't get enough power to go f for the fourth gear. And so I just extend the third until I don't have, uh, well, and I have just enough, or as much as I can grab. And so, this car really does not mind uh, giving you extra room to play with. It allows me to use all four gears, how this is tuned, allows me to use all four gears the maximum amount of power. It really does a really good job at this. Um, to do donuts, I can do it in first gear, take sharp corners, I do it in second, take... Um, straights I can do in third or fourth, long sweeping turn I can do in third or fourth. I only discover a little later in uh, this video that I can actually take these corners in the later gears. So while uh, I'm doing a couple donuts here, as you see, it's pretty easy. Like this car is just taking it like a champ. It's doing these donuts without a problem. Um, if you guys have any cars that you would like me to do, because, you know, I really suck at making drift cars, and that's why you'd like me to build one, or if you'd like me to build another car, I saw a request in the comments for me to make a drag car, so I might do an extra video next week to give you guys a sweet, sweet drag car. Um, please leave those in the comments below, although I have no idea how to make a drag car, so that will be pretty entertaining to see what we end up with. Probably end up with some sort of variant of, like, some track car that ended up being a drag car. I do not know. Uh, so that is that. You just see me here. I'm taking these corners, and this car really does handle quite well around these corners. Just look at that. Obviously, I'm going a little wide. You just gotta take the time to get used to. And I really love how this Mazda feels around the corners. Like, a lot of cars, yes, after the upgrades, they'll feel different, but also what's very important is the car itself, okay? You can't just take any random car, slap a bunch of power on it, and, and call a drift car. You can do that for a bunch of cars, but... Some cars are born to be drifters, and I honestly have to say the RX-7 is one of those. When you put a drift tune on this car, it really wants to go sideways, and it does a really great job at it. You put a good drift tune, and you will have no problems to go out drifting with this car. That is my sincerest thoughts. Same thing with, like, the Corvette and the Mustang. Honestly, my Corvette tune, probably not the best one I've done. My Mustang tune, pretty high up there, but I think I can improve on it with some of the things that I've learned. And that's really what I love about making these uh, Drift Tune videos is that, yes, I am making Drift Tune videos for you guys, and I love making videos for you guys, but also I'm learning how uh, myself how to become better at tuning cars, which to me is really important because, well, tuning cars is part of the game, and they spend a lot of time developing that as a function. Same thing with the paint and all that, and I don't know how to paint a car. Uh, yes, I said it. And, uh, yeah, yeah, that's maybe something I want to work on. Nick always gives me shit for it. I'm like, I'm not here to paint the car, I'm here to drive it. And you know what? 
whatever makes you happy. If you're a guy that just plays the game to paint cars, go ahead. But, you know, I like to do a bit of everything. So right here, you see me trying to go around the circle in second gear. Second gear can do it around the circle. It's a bit more of a stretch circle. It's hard to stay close. And you'll see, like, I can hold it still pretty well in second gear, but I do spin out because, well, uh, let's face it, I'm a pretty lousy driver. That's a fact. And uh, no one can really argue against that. I'm probably the shittiest driver out there in this game. And that is why I won last week's Top Gear Challenge. Suck my knob, Nick. Uh, just putting it out there. And so that is pretty much it. If you guys have any drift builds you would like me to do for next week, leave those in the comment below. If you have any special builds you'd like me to do, I may make an extra video next week. And as usual, guys, I want to thank you all for watching. Leave your comments below. Hope you all enjoy. And uh, I will see you all next week.